Hi folks. Today we're working on some repairs on the house. Um, over the winter, we got some cracks in this uh, big uh, room <laughs> that we have here. Um, that's big open space. Um, so up in the ceiling up here, that corner and the one over there um, had some cracks. So we had the sheet rock guys here this week and they patched those as well as a spot over our front room door and one upstairs in the bathroom. So now it's time to paint. So I'm gonna get started on that as well as a couple of other little projects around the house. I almost taped my hair. What? I almost taped my hair. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that's a lot of sanding dust on that. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta, ah! you gotta wipe that oh, off. Wipe. Just to give you an idea, I'll bring you up here with me, show you what we were doing. Um, so this was the primer, and then the yellow we'll put on tomorrow. It's a, just comparing over here, <laughs> it's called Paper White by Sherwin and Williams, and semi-gloss, I believe. So we'll do more in this area tomorrow. So have you ever tried this trick where you put uh, plastic wrap? This is, happens to be cling wrap, but plastic wrap. And I put it inside the tray and tried to suck it into the tray because we're gonna need to wait a couple of hours before doing the second coat and I didn't really wanna waste another tray. So I did that and then also wrapped the brush in the same manner and you could even oh great just got my thumb <laughs> um i have another one of these so i'm just going to replace that but um that keeps it so it stays moist and you can even with brushes if it's going to be more than a couple of hours you know if it's going to be days you can put them in the freezer and then it avoids having to wash them. Now, washing them and letting them dry is probably the better way to go, but just thought I would share that hack. So the project I'm working on now is I got some planters uh, today at Walmart. I'm going to be repotting some of my indoor plants that just they've outgrown their current pot. So I'm gonna <laughs> kind of switch things around. And this one I got, let me show you. It, so it's a real pretty color. I love the color. Um, it's plastic. Um, and I poked the two holes. It had like preformed holes. You just had to poke them out with a screwdriver. Um, but I don't want the dirt, look how big those holes are. I didn't want the dirt just coming right through. So <laughs> I couldn't find any screen um, in all of our stuff, but I found a barbecue little uh, tray and just kind of bent it up. And then I poked holes in it with the screwdriver and I think that will work. So the first one I'm gonna work on is Getting this little spider plant starts I got for free, <laughs> so I couldn't pass those up. And I'm gonna put that in this pot here. And then my 
amazing plant that rode in the front of the car with me on the way over here and then it spent um, I don't know how many months in the front of our RV in the hot sun over the summer and <laughs> all that time in the trailer this was the one house plant I brought with us and it survived and it's done really well and I just think it's outgrowing its pot so we'll put it in the bigger one I just showed earlier. water this real good. Oops. I just got this little watering thing at Walmart. It's kind of cute. I thought it'd be good for doing the house plants. Let's see if I can get this loosened up. were started in um, just started in water okay. ah! <laughs> so the, <laughs> the dirt's pretty loose is actually going to be in our bathroom upstairs. I got a cool hanger um, so I'll show that to you when it's uh, getting set up. But for now I'm just going to put some water on this guy and we'll go on to the next one. Look how root bound that was. Oh my gosh. It's weird it's got these little thick polyp looking, looking things. So I'm just going to break that up a little bit. Oh, it's falling apart. Looks like it's all going to one side. All right. Okay, and now we got this guy. Look how cute that is. Little Jade. But he's in this cheap plastic, so. Oh, oh, look at that. He was just gonna fly right out of there. Oh my gosh. Got like some dead leaves. Wow, that is just one chunk. I'm gonna try it, break it up a little bit. So these roots. Doing too much damage. Wow. Okay, I think I got too much dirt. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull some out. So we got this section of just dirt that over the winter had kind of caved in down from that hydrant so we filled that in and now we're just trying to plant some grass seed Tom's playing Johnny Appleseed here <laughs> 
and the tools are in place just to kind of give us the boundary because it should be gravel to the right of that one so that it matches down the line of the whole barn and we don't want to get too close to the driveway on this other side so So we're going to get this down and then rake it and water and hopefully it fills in with grass. So today is all about getting the final paint on the walls here that were patched. The uh, primer coat has dried so we're moving on to the paint color. <laughs> yeah. It didn't go. It So good. Huh? Talking to the folks. So the next step is going to be getting up in this corner. So here in the bathroom, we had a couple of spots where a um, screw head was sticking out. And then another spot that was kind of like the shadow or you could see where the screw heads or nail heads were from the sheetrock. So they did the repairs and even a couple little spots oops, down here where the grout from the tile work was there so they kind of repaired that too. So I'm just gonna paint these areas. What's going on here? <sighs> okay. okay. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's... Okay, then yeah. that's where it's going. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so hard to decide, because I couldn't decide if I wanted it over here or over there, but just between the window. Like right in here, because it is going to swivel, so we could swivel it around. <clears throat> we'll see how this works. That's actually good. Uh, it's not in the way of anything. Oh, it goes all that way? Yep. I have to reach behind it a little bit.
So we got all the paper and masking off and the paint has had some time to dry. And if you can see, I don't know, I think it blends in pretty, pretty darn good. We also did the corners. We did one more coat on the two corners where we had cracks. And I don't think I showed, but there was also a crack right above the um, railing there, up in that little corner. So I think we're all looking pretty good now. So here I am with the latest addition. I just think it's gonna be really nice to have more greenery in here. I have a few fake plants in the bathroom, but this will be really nice to have uh, some greenery and have it by this window. And I think this is the last decor item for the bathroom upstairs, at least for the time being. And thanks for coming along today. Um, we got a lot done with painting and even some stuff outside, trying to get grass going. So I hope you enjoyed and have a great week ahead.